Prince Harry is deeply saddened after his request to have a wreath laid on his behalf at London Cenotaph today for Remembrance Sunday was refused by Buckingham Palace. The Duke of Sussex was reportedly refused permission for a wreath to be laid at the Cenotaph on his behalf today, in the latest sign of a family rift. Prince Harry, who spent ten years in the armed forces, made the personal request to Buckingham Palace, but was refused due to the fact he had left royal duties in March, the Times reported. The Queen was not thought to have been informed of the request or its refusal, which is said to have deeply saddened the Duke of Sussex. The publication reports. Prince Harry emphasized the importance of Remembrance Sunday during an appearance on a military podcast to mark the event, which airs today. On the interview with the Declassified podcast, he described the day as a moment for respect and for hope. The former royal said, The act of remembering, of remembrance, is a profound act of honor. It's how we preserve the legacies of entire generations and show our gratitude for the sacrifices they made in order for us to be able to live the lives we live today. In previous years, the Duke has marked the day with visits to the Cenotaph and Westminster Abbey's Field of Remembrance, he first attended the Cenotaph in 2009 age 25. Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, is also not expected to attend the ceremony, reports the Times. Buckingham Palace declined to comment on whether Prince Harry's request had been refused. Prince Harry's representatives have been contacted for comment. During the podcast, Harry also spoke about his experiences and said he cherishes his relationship with veterans, describing coming together as like meeting an old mate. He added, I wear the poppy to recognize all those who have served, the soldiers I knew, as well as those I didn't. The soldiers who were by my side in Afghanistan, those who had their lives changed forever, and those that didn't come home. I wear it to celebrate the bravery and determination of all our veterans, and their loved ones, especially those in our Invictus family. These are the people and moments I remember when I salute, when I stand at attention and when I lay a wreath at the Cenotaph. Harry created the Invictus Games in 2014 for wounded injured or sick armed services personnel and veterans from around the world to compete in a range of sports. Services for Remembrance Sunday this year are greatly impacted due to the pandemic, with a full lockdown in England and other restrictions in place across the UK. The UK government has this year encouraged councils to ensure remembrance services are short, entirely outdoors and held in front of limited numbers. The Duke of Sussex who now lives in the United States with his wife Meghan and their son Archie, said, Even when we can't all be together, we always remember together.